Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to look at how we're going to write an 8051 assembler language program to blink an LED. Now, before we get into the uh, writing the code uh, for this uh, to blink this LED, let's go back and remind ourselves the LED interface of the ED SIM 51. Here I've repeated the uh, circuit diagram that I've used from my pre previous video. Um, I'm only interested in this particular LED. Uh, I want to blink this LED. The rest of these LEDs, I'm not going to use it. Now, if you look at this particular LED, the uh, plus volts is up here and here in order for this LED to light up we need to put this point here to 0 volts so in other words the binary value here should be 0 and because I'm not interested in all the rest of the LEDs I can switch them all off and uh, the binary values here would be 1 1 1 1 1 1 0 so let's put that in all right so this with this binary uh, pattern here with this zero current will flow and this LED will switch on now because we are writing an assembler language program most of the time we use uh, hexadecimal value so we need to convert these uh, four bits, this two four bit uh, number to its uh, hex equivalent. So this will be E and this will be FF. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to repeat that binary pattern here. Uh, bearing in mind, since this is zero, the LED would be switched on. Now, if I want to switch it off, I need to put this to one and because I'm not interested in the rest, they can all stay at 1. Alright, so for the rest of the L these bits here, because I'm not interested in it, uh, let, let, let's just cover it up and focus on this bit here, the least significant bit. So from an off state, remember 1 is high, uh, or 1, which is uh, high voltage and then we have to switch it to zero that will turn it turn the LED on and then from zero we switch it back to one and that will switch the LED off and if we keep repeating this the LED will be switching on and off and it will be blinking now this 8-bit value here in hexa is FE we discussed that earlier and this part here because they're all ones the hex value is FF now let's take a look at the uh, coding it's pretty straightforward so we start at the origin 00H the label is back uh, I think it will become obvious why I have used back later on so here uh, this is FE that will switch on the least significant LED we put this FE value remember anything that starts with an uh, alphabet you need to put a leading zero in front so this is FE hexa move that into A and then from A you put that up to port 1 and then we come to this line where everything is uh, FF that's 11111 that will switch everything off put that into A and then from A we switch we sorry we put it uh, to port 1 that will switch it switch the LED off here we say jump back back to here and S jump here stands for short jump I will explain this instruction in another video. Okay, we are back in the EDSIM51 and I've uh, loaded the uh, program that we just 
uh, talked about here. Um, so let us assemble the uh, program. Okay, it's done. And um, let's run and look at the LEDs here. Let me just zoom in. So watch out for these LED. Um, for our program, we expect this LED to blink. All right. So um, let's run this. So the program is now running, but watch what's happening here. Uh, nothing is happening. The LED is not blinking. The clue is uh, with this system clock. Notice it's running at 12 megahertz. Let's discuss this in a little bit more detail. Okay, let's look at what's happening here. So here's the code. And um, these two lines of code will switch the least significant LED on. And then the next two lines of code will switch it off. And SJUM will repeat the whole process. But as we observe uh, from the ED SIM 51, the microcontroller is running at 12 megahertz. That's about 12 million cycles per second. Now, the LED is actually uh, blinking or flashing, but it's doing it at 12 million cycles per second. That's way too fast. Um, the human eye can't detect that uh, change at that uh, speed. So how do we resolve this problem? Now, generally speaking, we can in include or insert a delay uh, at this point. The delay here is known as a subroutine, and this subroutine basically the function will hold the LED in its on state for a while and then when it's done, it will switch the LED off and to hold the LED off in its off state, you insert another delay function or subroutine to hold it off for a while and then it will jump back and repeat the whole process. Okay, so what I've done here is I've inserted the instruction that would call the delay. The instruction uses, used here is a call delay. And here I've done that the same thing, a call delay. And the delay subroutine is written here. All right, so the whole subroutine is here and to call this subroutine, all I need to do is do an A call. All right, this will call the delay. And the delay subroutine will be executed. And basically, it will waste the processor time. And some people call it a time waste routine. Once it's done, oh, by the way, I will go into the details of this subroutine in another video. For now, um, just accept that this function of this subroutine is to waste the processor time. Now, the last instruction of the subroutine says RET, that's uh, short for return. So it will go back where we left off to switch off the LED, and then it will hold the LED in its off state by calling this subroutine and once again once it's done it will go back to the main program where it left off and in this case it will repeat 
the whole process. Okay, so um, we're back in the ED Sim 51 and I've uh, loaded the uh, program with the time delay here. So let's let me just assemble the program. Okay, it's successful, no errors. And um, let's run the program and observe this LED when I run the program. As you can see now, it's blinking. And so the program is successful. Okay, so let me just pause the video. Um, I will discuss this delay uh, program in more detail in another video. So um, thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.